The debate continues this morning over whether certain plastics are safe, especially ones used in baby bottles. CBS News correspondent Meg Oliver reports. In a surprise move, the science advisory panel embraced the position of public health advocates that bisphenol A, the chemical used to make plastics for food packaging and baby bottles, may be a threat to human health. In a report to the FDA released late Tuesday, the advisor said the margins of safety defined by the FDA as adequate are in fact inadequate. It also said the FDA's approach creates a false sense of security and overlooks a range of potentially serious findings. The FDA recently said that there is no harm from the low doses of BPA that babies, children, and most adults get by eating foods from containers made with the chemical. The continued use of bisphenol A in the manufacture of food contact substance is concluded to be safe. Environmental groups want to ban BPA in products for infants because of concerns that it could interfere with their development. The report will be discussed on Friday at a meeting of the FDA Science Board. With the advisor saying more studies are needed, the FDA is unlikely to move quickly to restrict the use of BPA for now. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New York. Joining us is Dr. Alton Barron of Roosevelt Hospital Center here in New York. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Maggie. So public health advocates have been saying this, and now the FDA's own advisors are saying it, and still the FDA is unlikely to ban this? That seems outrageous. I don't know if they're unlikely to ban it yet, but uh, certainly they haven't taken the action that Canada has taken, for instance, in banning these from the cans and from the, in the infant formula cans and from the bottles, and that's significant. As a doctor, I, I know as a journalist hearing all the facts, the first thing I think of is why? Why not? Yeah. Well, it, that's a good question. Clearly, very good scientists and the independent uh, advisory panels have done the studies. They know what the risks are to the, to the infants and to even developing embryos in the mother's uh, wombs. What's most alarming is that infants who were fed liquid formula, which is basically their total diet for the first six months of life, were the ones who suffered the greatest risk, the most exposure to this toxin. That's right, because uh, we know that the earlier you're exposed to something, the more risk there is for later developmental problems such as cancer, any neurological or developmental issues, uh, even late onset diabetes, breast cancer, etc. So, you know, we see here we have some examples where mm -hmm. it says this is safe and bisphenol A free plastic, but if there's not a clear warning like this on the packaging, mm -hmm. how do you know? Well, you certainly, that's the, the best way. If you see that, you're safe. But uh, there is, if you look in the little, uh, this bottle doesn't have it, but if you have the little triangle that you see on any plastics or most plastics, it will have a seven on it, and that certainly indicates that there's BPA or bisphenol. Okay, so we don't have it, but just to put it as clear as we can, there we go. if you see this, Somewhere on your plastic, that yep. means do not, do not use it. This has BPA. I think that's the best course to take right now. And do you think it's inevitable that the FDA will ban this? Does it seem like a no-brainer to you? It seems like a no-brainer. Uh, it's a big industry, and there may be pushback. Uh, one doesn't know uh, what goes on, but uh, that would certainly be there's... pathetic. Yeah. All right, Dr. Alton Barron, thank you so much for being here. Again. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.